Hello everyone, Mark Daniel Patrick here, musical theater coach. Thank you so much for taking time to check out the channel. Don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and you can find me on Instagram at Mark Daniel Patrick or at my website at markdanielpatrick.com. There has never been a Broadway show that's been so big and had such a cult-like following online before New York City talks even began. Of course, I'm talking about the musical Be More Chill. Directed by Stephen Brackett, the musical is basically sci-fi meets teen angst, where our main character discovers a pill that he can take to make him be more comfortable with the in-crowd. It's basically what would happen if teenagers wrote Limitless the musical. Now, clearly I'm not the biggest fan, and it honestly pains me to say that, because the irony is the show was just too insecure to tackle the very issues that are at the heart of this message. Be your best nerdy self, because no one's going to love you until you love yourself. It's honest and a much needed rhetoric that we need a lot more of in the world right now, but unfortunately in my opinion this show was just too scared to allow itself to become vulnerable. But thankfully that's not what this video is about, as the highlight of the show does come midway through the second act, courtesy of George Salazar. From the musical Be More Chill, this is Michael in the Bathroom. Stay right here or disappear and nobody even notice it all. Now, you know me, if you've watched this channel at all, you know me that every situation, every every time a character says a line, I'm looking for an authentic reaction to the situation they're in. So he's just locked himself in a bathroom because he doesn't want to talk to, to anyone else at the party and he feels like he can't talk to anyone else at the party. So to me, there needs to be a, a more heightened sense of what did I just do? Why am I in the bathroom? How is this going to help? Right? There needs to be a more of a realization of, of what he just did, of the situation he just put himself in, for, for me anyway. I'm a creeper in a bathroom Cause my buddy kinda left me alone But I'd rather fake pee than stand awkwardly Or pretend to check a text on my phone Everything felt fine when I was half of a pair he runs that so well in his voice. It sounds so good. I love where that sits in his voice. Uh, he can kind of turn it into almost a, a smooth jazz, jazzy singer, sort of like that sort of smooth vibe. It sounds really good right there in his voice for sure. Through no fault of mine, there's no other half there. how long it's been I'm just now why why are we just scanning over the audience there when he first says that line this is the first time he's basically saying I've just locked myself in a bathroom right so I'd much rather him pick a spot and and come to the realization of, of what he's just done instead of panning over the audience like a you know a, again allowing everyone in it's 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 a it needs to be a self-realization moment of what the fuck did I just do, and and how am I gonna get out of this situation? Michael in the bathroom, Michael in the bathroom at a party. No, you can't come in. I'm waiting. That line can't come in. That line. What is what is that line for? Is that for us? Like the the audience? We can't come in with him. Is there someone else at the door? If there is someone else at the door, why isn't he looking at the door? There's. It, I know it's little things, and, and I like to harp on stupid stuff like this, but it's just little things that complete your performance, right? It's little things that, you know, don't just say a line. There has to be an impulse behind it each and every time. It out till it's time to leave And picking at ground as I softly grieve I'm just Michael, who you don't know Michael flying so low Michael in the Mm. He controls that it's so incredibly well right there and throws a nice vibrato in on the end to, to maintain the, the quality and, and make sure the note stays on pitch. That's that's very, very good right there. 
all by himself. I am hiding, but he's out there just ignoring all our history. Memories get erased and I'll get replaced with a newer, cooler version of me. Okay, see, that I don't mind because that needs to be the second layer of this song, right? So as I talk about all the time in this channel, build layers with your song to get to, to get to your certain point, to get to where the song needs to go. So your first layer was, I've locked myself in a bathroom, what the hell am I doing? Your second layer now needs to be, no, screw you, Jeremy, it, being his best friend. Screw you, Jeremy, you're the reason I'm in here, right? You're the reason who's now decided to ignore me and now I I've, I've have find myself in this situation. So that needs to be the next layer of the song is now you're upset with your best friend and you're going to, you're going to carry that headspace and that subtext through this entire next layer. And I hear a drunk girl sing along to Whitney through the door. It makes me think now there's no one to make fun of drunk girls with anymore. Now it's just Michael in the bathroom, Michael in the bathroom at a party. I have regret the beers. That's good. That's good. See, so the song allows him to, I love that just throwing that little Whitney Houston in out of nowhere. Uh, Joe Iconis, our composer, <laughs> he wants Whitney Houston, he's going to throw it in. So that's great. You, He's let himself go and he's sort of dancing to himself in the bathroom because he's, he's drunk and high and whatever. Uh, and all of a sudden now that makes him a little sick and, and that line of I regret the beers, the, the text is already there telling you what the character's feeling. Don't fight it. Use that. That's really, that's quite good. In the bathroom, Michael in the bathroom at a party. As I choke back the tears, I'll wait as long as I need till my face is dry, or I'll just blame it on weed or something in my eye. I'm just Michael. First of all, how can he maintain that that strain on his voice, but still maintain the, the quality of the note? I, it's That's just so incredible. It's almost like he's yelling, really, but he's still able to. He's just on the verge of, of, of cracking and in his voice giving out at him. But he's able to maintain the quality of the note quite well, which is, which is quite impressive, really. Um, now, emotionally, this needs to be your next layer of the song, where now, all of a sudden, the self-deprecation is going to start to set in, where... So first of all, you're, why am I in the bathroom? Second of all is, screw you, best friend, for, for ignoring me and causing me to come in here. And now the third one is, is now you're going to beat yourself up over it. And this is where you can see the song is going to start to build. Uh, and that self-deprecation is going to start to take over his mind. And, and the sort of the world is going to start to come in on him. By himself. So uh, two things here. One, I don't know if he goes off key a little bit there with those, but it does seem a, a little bit more more strained or, or goes a little bit sharp on him there, um, which is neither here nor there. It's a very stressful part of the of, of the song. So having your voice go a little bit on you is, is not a big deal here. Um, secondly is, where is the door? I thought the door was on stage right. I know, and, and right now he's facing upstage uh, looking for the door. So I know, again, it's small little details, but you don't want to give the audience any reason to think about something they're not supposed to be thinking of. They're supposed to be on this journey with you uh, through you in the bathroom. And you don't want an audience member saying, wait, it wasn't the door on the other side of the room. It's, again, small little things that I, I, I know I like to harp on. But it's just it creating the world and keeping everyone in that same world and understanding where the world is around you helps you create this this imaginary world there's so much the audience needs to imagine here that you're going through 
but you need to do your best to, to help them stay in that world that you've that you've created. I can't help but yearn for a different time. Mm. And then I look in the mirror and the present is clearer and there's no denying I'm just at a party. Is there a sadder sight than Yes, yes, that is that's such a good moment for him. I I do wish he would have gone to the mirror a little bit earlier in in the number, but by not doing that, it gives us this gut punch moment where he finally sees himself in the mirror and and kind of loses it. And and that's what we all do, right? When we want to truly see ourselves, we go to the mirror. You practice interview questions in the mirror. You practice your selfie faces in the mirror. You you ask your first girl out on a date for the first time in the mirror. The mirror either gives you all the confidence in the world or makes you the most insecure sucker alive. And and that's why this is such such a beautiful moment for him. This is a heinous night. I wish I stayed at home in bed watching cable porn. Or wish I off myself instead. Wish I was never born. I'm just Michael, who's a louder, so he must be a stoner. Rides a PT Cruiser. That is such a loser. I, guess, I know this is such a is building up in a big part of the song, but but I feel like this whole section needs to be delivered right into that mirror for two reasons. One, because it lets the audience really see what's happening on your face and lets them into the moment even more. And two, the longer you look at yourself in the mirror, the more you're self-conscious and the more your mind starts beating yourself up over and over again. And that gives him more of a reason to keep berating himself uh, as you look in, in the mirror at yourself longer. If you look at yourself in the mirror and you don't like what you see, that subconscious is going to start going and start bringing up all these things in your past and rehashing all these things uh, that either you've heard about yourself or you think about yourself, uh, and that's going to kind of drive him to, to really lose it here. Michael flying solo, who you think that you know? Michael in the bathroom by himself, all by himself. I'm so glad I came. <laughs> Woo! Vocally, vocally, this this song for George is is just spot on, truly, and and it's amazing he's able to get it through it vocally. I and mean, he did have a vocal hemorrhage, uh, I believe, in previews of this show, singing this very song. Uh, so the fact that he's able to to get through it, as I said, it lives right on that edge of of cracking and his voice getting away from him. Um, but but that's just vocally he this song sits so incredibly well for him I'm sorry to make this video so long and I'm sorry to keep stopping so many times but I really feel like in a show that is maybe a little bit disappointing in my mind this song that comes out of it is a great masterclass or audition piece because of the acting through song nature and so many things you have to go through in order to deliver this performance right so talking about adding layers to a performance and, and building those layers time over time and really making sure, if nothing else, if you know where each layer of the song needs to sit, then you know the subtext that you need to be thinking of in each of those moments. So you can sit down with your music, look at the music all together and decide where each layer needs to sit. And then you know, once you're in that moment in the song, you know what the subtext is and you can always come back to it. You know, the other characters coming in, knocking on the door, the music too, crescendoing, will all help you build uh, different moments and different emotion in the song. But if you have those layers mapped out and you know what you're talking about, and even more importantly, who you're talking to, in each of those layers, uh, that's really gonna help you drive through the song and keep you intact emotionally uh, through each and every point uh, of the piece. Okay, that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you so much for making it to the end with me. Don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and leave me some comments of things you thought about this video and also future videos you'd like to see. Until next time, I'm Mark Daniel Patrick and thanks so much for watching.